Well, hello there. Welcome to Easy English. Today I'm bringing you a video all about work, jobs, and careers. <clears throat> I've prepared a little sheet for you with all the information I'll be talking about. So if you don't know any of the words, they're all written down and you can look them up. So here is an introduction to careers. Work is what a person does to earn money, and you typically start to earn money from the age of 16 or 18, depending on what, which country you live. Before work, starting work, a lot of people go to university to study, or they do some kind of training. For example, to be an electrician, a plumber, to work in a shop, sometimes you can do some training for that. In a company, there are different roles. Roles means position. It means how high up you are in the company and how much power you have and how much responsibility you have in your job. So the boss is the leader. It's called the leader. And is usually the owner of the business. So the person who started the business or took over the business. The CEO has the largest, one of the largest responsibilities in the company. It's also called the president. The manager organizes the employees and plans the business strategy. So manager is also, the manager and management are very important positions in a company. The supervisor just has authority over low paid employees and the supervise uh, sorry the work employees it just means that everybody who works for a company most people earn money and that's called a salary so if i work as a teacher and i earn say a thousand euros a month that my salary is a thousand euros some people work for free and that's usually for a charity and a charity is also called an NGO. What's an NGO? A charity. What's a charity? It's an organization or a company that gives money or services to poor people to help poor people with their daily lives and their struggles. So here are some common jobs that I've written down. Let's have a look. Here's a, it's about 14 jobs here. And there, of course there are many, many more jobs but here's just a start. So, an accountant works in an office and looks after finances of a company. A shop assistant works in a shop and sells goods and looks after customers. A lawyer defends and prosecutes people and works in a courthouse or a law firm. A doctor looks after people's health uh, and works in a hospital or a doctor's practice. Also, a nurse also looks after patient's health in a hospital or a care home. A care home is a place for people who are old and can't need someone to help take care of them. A dentist looks after people's teeth. A teacher teaches people. An athlete tries to be the best at whichever sport they're doing. Football, basketball, running, high jump, etc. An architect designs buildings. An engineer designs structures, machines, and materials. A chef prepares or cooks food. A waiter or waitress serves people food and drink. Where? In a restaurant or a bar. A builder builds houses and buildings at a building site. And a plumber works with pipes and water systems. Okay. And we're reaching the end of the worksheet. So let's have a look. What do we have here? Oh, we'll talk a bit about unemployment. What happens? What's it called when someone doesn't have a job, doesn't work? Maybe they have a career, but they don't have a job. At, that's called to be unemployed. So, for example, I have a job as a teacher, and then suddenly my boss says, you're fired. You have to leave this job. I have no job. That means I'm unemployed. Unemployment is high when the economy is bad, because when the economy is bad, there are less jobs. 
and if you can see I've written here that all the capitalized words health, teeth, university, salary, works, careers if you can translate them all into your language you've pretty much learnt a lot of vocabulary on jobs and careers for one day so let me know in the comments what your dream job is and see you next time on Easy English